When will they learn? In 2005, George W. Bush, now clearing brush every day in Texas, went to, and you may recall this, I hope you do, went to 60 cities trying to sell his Social Security privatization plan to the American people. But the more he traveled, the more he talked about it, the less people liked it. At the same time, his poll numbers kept going down. It got so tough out there for Bush that uh, he stopped. But we wanted him to go to all 60 cities. In fact, AFSCME even offered to pay his way to go. He never understood that Americans, they like Social Security. They count on it. That's why his plan was DOA dead on arrival. Now, some of the same crowd on this fiscal commission and in Congress want to bring back the Bush plan. Are they for real? They're actually talking about privatizing again. Some of the Senate candidates, that poor woman from Nevada, they want to change the benefit formula. Worst of all, they want to raise the retirement age, as Rich talked about. Now, can you picture, if you would, just looking out this window, all the 70-year-old bricklayers, trash collectors, firefighters, nurses out there, 70 years old. And what kind of society do we want? Social Security supports itself with payroll contributions. It has no borrowing power. It currently has, and some people would be surprised at this, a 2.6 trillion surplus. Doesn't add a penny to the so-called deficit. The real issue is all the money that was spent in the Bush years, <clears throat> the tax cuts for the rich, the two wars, the bank bailouts, none of it paid for. All the money borrowed. Much of it from Social Security itself. The politicians who borrowed funds from Social Security now want to renegotiate the deal. Maybe they just don't want to pay it back. We're not going to let them get away with it. Here's my plan. It's a new reality TV show. It stars John Boehner, the tan man, Alan Simpson, Peter G. Peterson, Wall Street billionaire, and Erskine Bowles is in on it too. We give each of these guys an average Social Security benefit of $14,000 and tell them to live on it for a year. They won't get a COLA, but they'll still have to deduct 100 a month for Medicare Part B and pay 200 a month for Medigap insurance. When do you think they'll stop calling for benefit cuts? Probably in the first episode. <laughs> Thank you. I wrote that myself as my Didn't I, Steve? Yes. Yeah. We have anything in here is funny. I wrote it. We have a message for the commission. Don't turn Social Security into the scapegoat for the deficit. Social Security is not the problem. Don't raise the retirement age. Don't tamper with the COLA. If you break the promise that was made to America's working families 75 years ago, we will hold you accountable. We took on Bush, and we not only won, we crushed him. We'll fight this just as hard. Keep your hands off our Social Security. Thank you.